Mitchell, do you, do you fancy going in there? Morning! We have literally had the biggest lion ever. Look at the time. Four minutes past one p.m. I have made the most of that sleep. Mate, what's the plan for today? We're gonna get a shebang and go to New Orleans. So, Ray's been talking about this breakfast that's huge called a shebang. It sounds weird, but it's amazing. Is it that good? It's really good. I love breakfast, so yeah, I'm look really looking forward to that. And then we're heading to New Orleans. So let me tell you what's gonna be happening in New Orleans. A subscriber was messaging me on Instagram, Mitchell Duet, I think is how you pronounce his name. He said, do you have any time you want to be in New Orleans? I've put, I haven't yet, but aiming for four and six, he's put, I'm looking for a hotel across from the convention center, what a guy. So he carried on talking and then he said, I'm about 25 miles from the hotel. I'll book a room and come and meet you to check in. I'll be there around four o'clock. How awesome is that? So Mitchell, has literally just booked a hotel for me tonight in New Orleans. So, Ray, we're gonna chill out here, and then we're gonna head to New Orleans to meet Mitchell. For sure. I think me, you, and Mitchell should go out for a drink or something. I'm underage. Mate, oh <laughs> no, okay, maybe not. You can have a Coke. So one question I really, really want to answer before I get up off Ray's couch is that a few days ago on one of the videos, I got a comment saying, Simon, do you think you could do what you're doing without the platform you've got, basically this YouTube channel? And my answer to that is 100% you can. Yes, don't get me wrong, I would not be like lying on Ray's couch now in Mississippi, but I have just done seven days in Florida with no money and had a great time. Yeah, I didn't sleep for the last three nights, but I've met new people, been at five star hotels, I've eaten well, it's been a good week. And on top of that, I have got so many stories that I've not shared on this channel from times before I even started making videos. And one of them stories is before I started making videos, in 2016, I flew into Boston with $200 knowing one person called Joe Palmieri. And Joe helped me connect with different people. And in the end, from $200, I ended up staying in America for three months. I traveled 15 different states. I snuck into a Forbes event to meet Richard Branson, the pictures on my Instagram, and met Jonah Hill in LA, that picture's on my Instagram. At that time, I wasn't even making videos. So I went to America, I spent three months, 15 states, and I went with $200. You 100% can do this if you haven't got the platform I've got. And on that note, we're gonna go and grab a shower. Separately, <laughs> definitely not together. Not together. <laughs> Let's go, mate. Let's do this. Right, we're showered, we're clean, and we're going for breakfast. What was it called again? A shebang. A shebang, yep. <laughs> right, let's get downtown. We've just got in a car, and Ray, I really hope you don't mind me saying this, no, no. but Ray said to me, Simon, my car's not very good. I don't know if you want to put it in the vlog or not. Listen, this channel is all about being real. And the thing is, like, the clothes that I sell, skint. Skint is a British term for flat broke, like no money, absolutely broke. The reason I sort of come up with a concept is because everybody on social media chats so much rubbish about like posing with different cars and you know, I've been guilty of that. But now I've gone the opposite way. I thought I wear a jumper with skin written on it because who cares? This car's sick. Appreciate that, man. Is this it, the South Mouth Deli? It? Dude, it is hot in Mississippi. Yes, it is. I don't know why I've got my hoodie on. Is it hot along the whole of the South? Yes. Right, let's go and check this place out. Yeah, mate, it's going really good. It's it's awesome. really Bit of a struggle without no sleep for three nights, yeah. but had a good sleep on <laughs> Ray's couch last night, so. Awesome. Yeah, he's been talking about this. What's better than a shebang or a knuckle sandwich? The knuckle sandwich? Because we've talked about it, we're gonna go with the shebang. Shebang. How do you want your eggs? Medium's great. Biscuit or toast? A toast, definitely. All right. <laughs> Did y'all need that ketchup? Yeah. You gotta put ketchup on eggs. You gotta put ketchup on eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers anyway guys, take care. Lovely to meet you all. Yeah, see you later. Thanks very much. 
stewed. How nice were they? Oh, really nice, dude. That was the closest thing to an English breakfast I have ever had in the US. That place is good. How are we doing for time? We'll be in New Orleans about six. About six. We're running a bit late to New Orleans, but we'll all be good. I'll text Mitchell now and let him know. Next stop, New Orleans. I'll, I'll just be in the hotel, yeah? Right, this is the hotel that Mitchell's got me. He's supposed to be waiting in reception, so I'm gonna go and see him now. Hey, how's it going? Hello, yeah, nice to meet you. How good are you? Good. Sorry I'm running a bit no, no, late. No, check in, and then we go get something to eat. Yeah, is that okay? Appreciate this, Mitchell. No, Thanks no, very much. No problem, mate. I was gonna say, Ray, who's driven down from, is it Hattiesburg? Hattiesburg. Um, he's just parking up, so you'll meet him as well. You get a bottle of water or a Coke or something. Honestly, I appreciate, appreciate that. Okay. On the third floor, there's gonna be a complimentary breakfast. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be from 6.30 to 9. Oh, in here, there's a coffee to cocktail bar. It's 24 hours as well. Wi-Fi is gonna be high Wi-Fi. It's just gonna ask you for your first name, your last name, and your email. That's Perfect, it. thank you very much. You're gonna need your key to use the elevator. Enjoy your stay. That's great, thank you very much, thank you. I'll see you down in a sec. What a cool guy. Staying in a hotel, another good night's sleep. What a cool guy. 5.20. Oh my God, yes. God, I am so happy about this. Mitchell, what a guy. Right, I've just dropped off all my stuff at the hotel room. Buy all my stuff. I mean, a skateboard, denim jacket, flip-flops, couple of t-shirts, and yeah, not a lot. Now I'm gonna go downstairs, see Mitchell, and maybe Ray might be there now as well. Let's go. Guys Ray. Yeah, he said he was just going to go and park his car. Yeah. Hey, Ray. This is Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell Ray. Ray. Good to meet you. Hi. Hi. Joe, it's good to like everyone to meet. It's crazy. Yeah. Right here, there's a Riverwalk Mall. Yeah. I know I see you eat burgers all the time. There's a, yeah. there's a Mooya Burger. There's awesome. Canes. Is that this Raisin Canes? Raisin canes. Right, right. Yeah. Well, we went last oh, night. Yeah, oh, yeah last night. night. And it was amazing. Yeah. We had a huge breakfast, to be honest. So I'm not like starving. What do you feel so I'm thinking, just go for a good drink and just have a chat. And maybe just get something little or something we like that. We probably better go to the room. Yeah, and awesome. Go, I think they stay open until like 7.30. So we've got yeah, to sweet. Hey, you come in? We're actually about to head home. Oh, okay, it's no long. worries. Okay. Dude, it's, it's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, honestly, thank yeah. you so much. Oh, good luck on the, way, on the rest of the way. Yeah, definitely. And we'll catch up again. See you later. Bye. Mitchell, honestly, that hotel room is something else. I'm literally downtown, the French Quarter. Mitchell was saying it's literally just like a couple of blocks down. Apparently, New Orleans is crazy. Is that, is that right? Because <laughs> yeah, what was that festival? You so said there's a festival yeah, starting on Thursday. This weekend. Do we recognise this? Raisin Cane. <laughs> where I went with Ray to get the chicken. That place is amazing. So Louisiana seafood. Is this like a speciality out here? Is it? Well, you're going to find it when you're walking through the city. <laughs> yeah. Every restaurant's going to Seriously, be all yeah, seafood? Oh, we'll have to check this out. Do you just say fried alligator? alligator. Yeah. Fried alligator? Yeah. Are you joking? They, they fillet the tail and they chop it in. It looks like chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? It looks actually like, like fried alligator. Yeah. That's what it's like. Oh my god. You tried, you? I can't try fried oh, alligator. We've got catfish, shrimp, or alligator. That, that's some menu, that. I don't think I can stomach the alligator or the catfish. Right, instead, we're gonna go back to Raisin Cane. That cane sauce was amazing. Huh? I don't know if you can convert me off ketchup, but the cane it's sauce, close, right? yeah, it is good. There's something in the UK called Nando's. Have you ever tried Nando's? No. So Nando's has got sauce called Perronade. I'll have to get your address and send you some. I want a sandwich combo and a three finger combo. Thank you, Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, let's go and sit outside. So we've just sat down to have some food and there's a US aircraft carrier there. Look at that for a shit. Do you know what? This camera definitely doesn't do that shit any justice. So we've just had some food. We're now walking to the French Quarter, is it? Yes. Um, and like Bourbon Street, that's where apparently where it's like dead busy, where everything goes on. How long have you lived in New Orleans? 65. 65. So 65 and what's years. the verdict on oh, New Orleans? It's like every place, you know, it's home. The longer you stay at any place, you can always see the bad things. You walk in the place for the more first time and you don't really see a lot. Yeah. So we've just got on Bourbon Street now, this is it. Mitchell, Mitchell, 
Do you, do you fancy going in there? How good is that street? Oh, Honestly, you could tell you could have a mad night out on that street. Yep. Who wants a mad night out in New Orleans tomorrow night? If anybody wants a mad night out in New Orleans tomorrow, Honestly. hit me up. Honestly, that place looks ridiculous. If I had my wallet with me, we would be having a crazy night tonight. So we've just left like the Bourbon Street area. Whereabouts are we now, mate? Three blocks from your hotel. Cool, so we're just heading back now. Are Donuts. you sure? Yes. You're a star, thank you very much. I might stay Wednesday night, depending on how we go. But if I end up staying tomorrow night as well, I'll let you know, maybe we'll catch up Thursday before Dude, I leave. It's been a pleasure, yeah. No, mate, my, the pleasure's really? all mine, I, honestly. I, like, you have a good one anyway, I'm safe ride home. Eat that breakfast. Mate, I will eat that breakfast. What an absolute guy. This trip just keeps shocking me. Like, the people I'm meeting. Like, someone actually commented, Simon, what would you do if you met psychos? Or have you met any psychos? And genuinely, like, this whole trip so far, and the people I've met, and obviously messaged before I've met them, has all gone off my gut instinct and every single person I've met has just been amazing the community on this YouTube channel is just honestly it's madness yeah, I met Mitchell like what is it about 5 30 6 o'clock and it's now like 10 o'clock I've been with him like four or five hours and it's felt like 10 minutes honestly great guy and now I'm heading back to the hotel Mitchell thank you so, we're in New Orleans. Where to next? Obviously staying in New Orleans tonight. I think I'm gonna stay in New Orleans tomorrow night as well, just so I can like have the full day here tomorrow. And then I'm thinking Houston. Houston's gonna be my next stop. Also, as you saw, Mitchell give me $20 as well. What a guy. And I think I'm gonna use this to get the Megabus. Or I could sneak on the Megabus and keep this. I don't know, but there's a Megabus that goes from here to Houston. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get on that. Everybody's saying that Texas is so, so big. And like, it takes ages to get across it. But yeah, if there's anybody in Houston, hit me up because I've never been to Texas before. Um, so I don't know what's in Houston to do. But yeah, guys, honestly, I love the comments. I read every single one. The positivity on this channel is just on another level. Like, yeah, we get the odd negative one, but we're always gonna get that. And as we grow, there's gonna be more haters, but that's life. But honestly, it means so, so much. And now I'm gonna get a good night's sleep in this bed. So I'll see you tomorrow.